Professor Baldwin here to show you how to use your phone as a scanner. Go to your app store and find the Cam Scanner app and start the download. Cam Scanner is an app that works with Mac and Android and uses your phone's camera to create high quality scans. And you get to use it for free. Once the app is downloaded, you'll want to open it. The first time you use the app, you'll be shown some of the features of Cam Scanner. Just swipe through those until you get to the page asking you to purchase premium access. I didn't lie. You can use the app for free. Tap the X on the top left of the screen to continue with the free scanner. This page wants you to sign in or register. You don't need to do either to continue. Click the tiny Use Now link on the bottom right. You're finally in the scanner. You won't have to go through all of these other steps the next time you log in. To start scanning, click the camera icon on the bottom of the screen. You should see a prompt now to start a demo. You can either start the demo or click the X and just follow along with my video. At the bottom of the scanning screen, there are some options. The ones you'll use the most are single and batch. You can swipe left or right to select the type of scan you want. Single is for scanning just a single page, where batch is for scanning a batch of pages that all go together in one scan. I need to scan two pages and should select batch, but I'm going to select single and show you how easy it is to add pages to any scan. Center your document and then tap the camera icon. Now I've scanned my first page. Here I can see the scan and I'm given some options on how to edit the page. Cam Scanner will attempt to identify the perimeter of your scan. If it's successful, like here, you can just click the green arrow. The next screen allows you to change the color of the scan. I find that Lighten or Magic Color give me the best scans. Once you've selected the color format, you click the green check mark. If you're done scanning, you can edit the file name and move on. But remember, I needed to scan two pages. This is where you can easily add a page. Tap to the right of the scanned page to add a new page. Let's scan this page upside down to see what Cam Scanner does. Focus on the page and then click the camera button. Since Cam Scanner didn't recognize the full perimeter, I need to drag the outside edges Now, I don't want to send my instructor an upside down page, so I'm going to use the left or right rotate buttons in order to rotate my scan. Now it's right side up. Next, tap the green arrow. Once again, you can choose the color setting for the page and then tap the green check mark. I'm done scanning, so now I need to change the title of my document. Tap the current title where it says Cam Scanner, and then enter a new name. And hit Done. Now, how do I get this document off of my phone? If I tap More on the bottom right, and then Upload, I can send it to any of these digital drives. You'll need to log into that drive in order to upload it. Or, you could select the email icon and mail it. Notice that the free file extensions are PDF, JPEG, or text. These are documents, so I should send them as a PDF. It's a much smaller file size, too. Now, you're prompted to remove the watermark. To do that, you would need to pay for a subscription. Or, you can do what I do and just leave the tiny watermark and click the I got it button. Now tap send on the top right, complete your email message, and hit send. Congratulations, you just created a scan with your phone. Wasn't that easy?